Hey guys, check out what the FedEx man brought me today. Um, if you guys watched my channel at all before, you know that I've got a real bad back and I shattered seven vertebrae, damaged 14 discs, damaged the crap out of my spinal cord. They said I'd never walk again. They haven't met me. But the good Lord proved them wrong. But I still struggle getting my deer out of the woods anymore. Um, I hunt alone and I usually have to have to call somebody for help and I hate I hate having to need help so I want I wanted something that would give me a little more independence so last year I bought this cheap $10 Walmart sled it worked great once I got to the barn lot and down the driveway but through the field with the it's, there's like waist deep grass that's laid over and I had to call help and both my parents had to work together to drag the deer out on that sled so that's not really an option so I wanted a cart but they're all like 125 to 150 dollars I have no desire to spend that much money on on a dolly that I'm only going to use once a year so I was trying to find a used one and this one actually popped up on Google it's game winner which is made with that that's the brand that Academy owns um, it was only 65 bucks before I buy anything I like to see reviews like video reviews there are no video reviews of this cart and once I finally weeded through all the reviews written on the website of came in the mail today I've never used it but it looks great that doesn't help anybody that's not that's not a review so once I weeded through all of those I found that more often than not they forget to put the instructions in here so I figured while I'm putting this together I will show you how to put it together and there were also some people that said they have this cart as well as the expensive name brands and with a few minor minor adjustments they're super cheap this one actually outperforms the expensive ones so I'm gonna tear into this box get all the parts laid out and I'll show you how to put it together and how to make those modifications and Academy's website sucks and their customer service sucks so I will tell you at the end how to avoid a huge headache when you're ordering so let me get this open and I'll be right back all right guys well the, the biggest beef on the reviews was that they didn't include any instructions and when they contacted customer service they would be like you need to email not call so they'd email and they'd say well you need to call not email and nobody would get them well I figured out why maybe mine came with two so I probably got somebody else's and I've noticed in their instructions I just skimmed through them and it doesn't say it comes with four washers and it doesn't say where those washers are supposed to go so I didn't look at all of the instructions because they're not very well written and they don't include all of the steps so I'm just gonna figure it out all right your handle is the piece with the rubberized foam non-slip grip and this straight bar, one end has plastic um, little caps, so that would only mean that the handle has to go this way. And it says on the website that you can reverse the handle, so I guess if you want to pull it, it needs to be bent towards you. and. For whatever reason, if you wanted to push it, it needs to be bent up and away from you. I plan on pulling it, or 
pulling it. So slide that into place. There's two sizes of latch pins. One of them's like a more of a half moon and one of them's more square. The smaller half moon one is what we're going to want. holding the top together and I didn't maybe I should look here I would want it to latch on the inside so it doesn't accidentally get hung up on something And one of the, one review, these are, to me, they're, they seem like they're pretty decent. Um, one review said that these fell out while he was pulling it. I'm thinking maybe he had it flipped around the other side where it, maybe a piece of brush caught it and opened it up. But you've got to put quite a bit of pressure to get that to open, so... I don't think that's a that's going to be a big issue. There were people that said because of that I'm going to put it on the back side so it'll make less noise and not be in the way of the deer. The loop on the back side of the bar. But there was a lot of people that said they saw that review and because of that they threw these away and bolted it, used nuts and bolts. Like I think they said quarter inch to secure these and I don't this is made to be taken down really easy so you can if you have a car it'll fit in your car I don't I mean I have a truck but I don't want it being visible sticking out of my truck since I park on the road so I would like for it to be easily disassembled easily I would like for it to be easy to disassemble and fold it up so if I need to, I can stick it in the cap of the truck, but if you use nuts and bolts instead of these pins, you're going to have to bring a socket set with you. And I will play around with this. It got dark real quick, but I'll play around with this tomorrow and see before season if I need to replace those. But just by looking at them, and I mean, they feel pretty stout to me, so I don't think that's going to cause an issue. Now, I do need to read the instructions and I'm going to be right back because I came over here to get the light and I left those connecting bars over there. Alright, now before we now that I look at the connecting bars, before we put those on, we're going to need to put the bottom on. So, this curved part, the way the handle curves, is going to go back towards you. And then this other piece, the bottom piece, it's like, it's like this, but We're going to take that and make a bunch of noise with it. We're going to match these holes up with these holes. And the silver bar here is our axle. So we're going to run that through. And if you're wondering, this cart says that it will support up to 500 pounds, which is way more than I'm ever going to need. Maybe. I don't know. They started, they started drawing elk tags this year in Missouri, so. But on a regular day, that's way more than I would ever need. But it seems like all the 
if you, if you guys hunt elk or hogs or whatever, it seems like the name brand ones, the more expensive ones were like 330 pounds. So you may take that into consideration when you go to buy one of these. All right, we've got the bar on. Now we're going to take our wheels. These are 16 inch. And one huge selling point for me was the wheels are solid rubber rather than using um, you know the word, an inner tube. And you know, where I hunt there's a lot of thorn trees. And I'm afraid if if that was an inner tube, I would puncture it with a thorn, and then I'd be SOL, dragging it instead of rolling it because I punctured a hole and I would not be happy. So that's a huge plus to have the solid wheels. Now it did say that these thick, thick washers, there's like three washers tack welded together, those go on the wheels. There's other washers that it came with that it doesn't mention at all, so I don't know what those are about. But we'll put the washer on there, and then it comes with these little hitch pins. Run that. See, now this is something else that this is one of the modifications they were talking about. See, that just slides on there and then the circle goes around it. They were saying that the hitch pins that it came with would come out in the field and then you, you lose them in the brush, you can't find them and how are you supposed to get your deer back when your wheel won't stay on? But in all honesty, that Somebody had posted a picture of his, and it looked like the you, the kind that looked like a bobby pin, like a hairpin. That's what they looked like. So it looks like maybe they've changed that because it goes right in that circle, and it does not look like it would easily be able to come out. But like like I said, I'm going to play around with this, and if that is an issue, I'll replace it with a cotter pin. I don't really want to do that because that would, again, make it hard to take it apart, but if that's what we got to do, I'll worry about taking it apart when the, when the time comes. So flip around to the other side, take this pin, stick it in the hole, and that the circle goes right around that. Let's, let's back that up. See, that's hard to get out. What you might consider doing, I don't know, this might not be your thing, but what you might consider doing before you put the pin in is maybe, maybe put the tire on. Might be a good idea. Who knows? All right, the tire, the thick washer and then your little snow snowman pin and they some of the reviews said these tires reek horribly and it'll scare away the deer and the the whole thing's not worth having because the tires reek it's a very, very faint, like you walk into a tire shop, but like a thousand times less. It's, I mean, you've got to, got to get your nose right up to it, and I imagine that smell's going to, it's not strong enough for me to think that it's not going to go away soon, so I would not worry about that smell if you do plan on, you know, taking this in with you. My plan is to leave it in the truck until I need it, but we'll see. Okay, now you've got two of these curved bars. 
the sun went down and I was trying to get this done in the good light, but I hope you can see what I'm doing. They're, they're the same on both ends, so what you'll do is take this. Let me make sure that I would think it would go on the outside so there'd be more room for your deer. And that is correct. On these supporting bars, curved side goes down. You use the larger square latch pin to connect the end to the on the top side. And it goes on the outside of the cart. And again, I'm going to flip the curved part of that pin to the back. And now on your other end, okay, on the bottom side, this piece will go in this, this little notch here. And then you'll use your your small latch pin to secure that. And actually, I'm going to flip that around to the back again so that it's out of the way. And then we'll bring it over to this side. Take this bar with a curved side up on the outside of your handle. We're going to use the large square, just like we did on the other side. I'm trying to stay out of your light. I like to put the the curved part on the back end so it's out of the way of the deer. And then again we'll come down here and put the bottom in this groove with the small latch pin. Okay, I have two parts left, and it doesn't say where to put them, so I don't, I don't see anywhere that would need any more washers. I understand why the wheels would, but I don't understand why they didn't even include those in the instructions, so I guess those will go in the junk drawer. Alright, one more, one thing that people said to modify the lighting really really sucks okay one thing people said to modify they said not just for this particular cart but for any cart that you buy they generally only come with one strap so for like five bucks at the local farm store you can get a cheap ratchet strap and it's this isn't a ratchet strap, it's like a quick release. And there are... It doesn't say this in the instructions or on the box or on the uh, internet. But if you can see, there, there are two of these. One on each side. That appear to be made for a strap to go through. So, 
the strap that it came with is going to fit in there and otherwise I mean you can use rope, paracord, a $5 ratchet strap, whatever and the, the modifications that other people had other than the strap there was one guy that said he didn't have this brand I was asked his terrain is a lot similar to mine so I was asking him how well his worked and he said he put two wheels he bought two more wheels and and made made it a dually for dragging it through the woods not I'm gonna need it more in the the tall hay field that's laid over but if you're dragging it through the woods that might be something that you need I'd, I'm not sure but that's what he did and people said to use nuts and bolts on here because one person had them had the latch pins come out I don't really see how these latch pins are gonna pop off unless he had them <clears throat> flipped around and a branch caught them just just right but I really don't want to put put nuts and bolts to make it harder to to take down so other than that they said the wheels needed cotter pins instead of the pins that they came with but it looks like they've they've changed the pins that they originally everybody's griping about so I don't think that's going to be an issue but if it is I will let you all know and I'll do an actual in in the field use review come November hopefully but here it is now it weighs I think they sit around 25 pounds but I mean it feels like it weighs one pound pushing it around can't see how well I can tell you right now I think I'm I'm gonna be happy with it I think this is gonna work in the terrain where I hunt with those big 16 inch wheels um, one thing to remember if you do buy this I'm trying to get in the light here if you do buy the game winner from Academy their website sucked I mean it took several days for me to get the order to to actually place um, first they said I had free shipping on anything over $35 so I go to pay for it and and they say nope it's now $25 to ship so I added something else in my cart and now it's $30 $30 to ship I called customer service they said well they changed it you no longer get free shipping it says you do but they they changed it not not all items get it and none of the items you picked I can I can understand why something heavy would not get it but none of the items that I had in my cart qualified and I uh, I had the shipping kept changing every time I tried to pay it go from 10 to 30 dollars and then finally it got down to ten dollars an item so I just got that so I would only have to pay the ten dollars the taxes kept changing PayPal it said that my order was in and then they canceled it but they didn't tell me I happened to see it on my PayPal account I tried to call customer service and before I even got to to talk to anybody a recording said if you used PayPal then um, we're canceling your order and if we accidentally charged you multiple times for one order we'll cancel that later too so they're they were like trying to charge for the same item multiple times and it was very hard to deal with with customer service and to get this ordered but I think it will be worth it now that I see it all put together so don't use PayPal I tried it again twice and it kept denying it so don't use PayPal if you're gonna buy it but but that's how to put it together I don't really think that it needs any modifications other than you need to add a strap so come November I'll show you how well it performs in where I hunt in the 
in the tall laid over grass and I guess like and subscribe and you, you know all of that business but I will see you next time.